the area would have heard that, they might be on the way. Now let's grab something and get out. Sounds like a plan. Let's search these wagons, okay? You sure you want to go in there? I think the water's got to this stuff. This stuff's too old to bother with. This one looks good. Search it. Here. Come on. This is full of new rifles. We can sell those, right? We sure can. We'll check the rest later. Now, come on. Let's go. Let's go, let's go. Get this back to camp. Yep. Yep. Ooh. We need to get these back. Come on. G up. Fall in. Right. Coming our way. Keep it together. What's a black feller doing coming out of Shady Bell? In one of our wagons. We was uh, doing some business with your brothers back there. You don't look like any kind of folk we deal with. Our business was conducted to the satisfaction of all parties. Until now, that is. Nope. No. Something don't feel right about this. Not him and not you neither, Yankee. Get these lines! Go! Leonard, Leonard, Leonard. I'm looking, all right? I can't see anyone chasing us. I should think we're out of the woods then, so to speak. <laughs> You did good. <laughs> we did it. Well, let's get to camp before saying anything like that. Uh, let's not stop too long with these guns on the back. I know Sean's been bringing in quite a lot lately, and I wanted to... <sighs> it's good to have something to show like this. Sean's a loudmouth bragging. Don't worry about what Sean does. Hey, I like him, you know? Well, so do I. It's my better judgment. Just you worry about you. He wasn't on Leviticus Cornwall's train with me. We had to dig him out of Blackboard. But enough, but nothing. Me and Dutch, and everyone who counts. We know what you do for this gang. We notice. Keep it up. You're gonna start seeing things change for you. Okay then. Okay. Thank you, Arthur. Camps in these trees up here. Let's get there. Arthur, Lenny, coming back. These are fine rifles. Right? I'm gonna keep one, just for me. Hey, I always enjoy riding with you, kid. <laughs> you know how to fight. Hey, you too. Anytime, Arthur.
Hey, Arthur. What are you doing? Selling it back to where it came from. Why? Well, I ain't got a market for it. They made it. They must have someone to sell it to. <coughs> Stuff look kind of lonely out here. I think we'll cut ourselves a deal. Uh, I get you. You and Dutch was just doing your duty when you requisitioned it. Now I'm doing mine. All right. I should get going now. I'll leave you fellas to it. Good luck. Thank you, John. We'll see you later. Dutch asked him to look into something to do with the Braithwaite horses, I think. Oh, okay. Okay, let's head out to the Braithwaite's place. You know the way? Yeah, I've been there. So, what exactly are we doing? This is the moonshine we took after blowing up the Braithwaite still, right? I think the good citizens taking the trouble to return their stolen goods deserve some reward, don't you? And it's time we made a formal introduction, like Dutch told us. Look, these are two big old plantation houses. All I keep hearing is they hate each other so much they can't see past it. I know. I've seen it. There's a gray boy and a Braithwaite girl carrying on a secret affair. I've been, well, helping them. The mind boggles. You think they're of use? Not sure. They don't seem too involved in the rest of it, but maybe. Well, I'm sure there's money in this for us somewhere if we can get in the middle of it. Here we are. Modest little homestead, isn't it? Hello, gentlemen. How are you? What's that in the back there? Moonshine, my fine fellow. May I have a word with the man of the house? The man of the house is a lady. Mrs. Catherine Braithwaite. May I speak with her? I want to discuss a business opportunity. I mean no harm. No harm at all. You may happily shoot me if I do. <laughs> okay, okay. She's at the house. We'll be watching you. You heard the man. Driver, proceed, please. something out in the hills thought thought maybe you was in the market for it for what some liquor i ain't in the market for what's already mine the way we see it it's ours <sighs> well with us possessing it and I, I checked all over for the life of me i couldn't see your name on it oh relax i ain't here to rob you <laughs> no it seems that's easy enough <laughs> wanna do a deal what do you sell that stuff for Dollar a bottle. You give us 50 cents. It's already ours. Well, look on it as a reward for finding the property. Alternative is we go sell it someplace else. The alternative <laughs> is you get shot. Now, who wants to get shot over a bottle or two of liquor? <laughs> Pay the man. Pleasure doing business with you. And... Listen, uh, we didn't take it, at least not without orders from... Oh, I know exactly who gave you your orders. Old Sheriff Gray. You know what? I don't want it. In fact, sir, now you can do me a favor. There's an extra ten bucks if you do. Drive the stuff into Rhodes, head over to the tavern run by Mr. Gray, and give the stuff out for free. Mama! Hush now. I believe they call that a promotional expense. <laughs> As you wish, madam. You boys come back sometime and tell me how you made out. Maybe we'll play a little cribbage. All right. Next stop, the Rhodes Saloon. Here we go. 